Tyson Grover. I'm the K-12 curriculum supervisor for Davis School District. We're out here today at the Davis School District STEM Fair where students in grades 6 through 12 are competing and kind of showing off their projects they've worked on over the year at their schools. Today we have close to uh, a little over 500 students at this event. I'm Andrew, I'm from Bountiful High School. I'm a junior and I'm here at the Science Fair today. I'm working with propeller shrouds trying to make propellers more efficient. So I love airplanes. I work with airplanes a lot. I do remote control airplanes, and I love finding ways to make airplanes more efficient. It's a passion of mine. And so anything I can do uh, with my remote control airplanes, I've found ways to make wings more efficient. And so now I'm working with propellers, improving efficiency, making the battery life last longer. Uh, it's just something that I really enjoy. Hi, my name is Lake. I come from Layton Elementary, and I, I wanted to see how planes could fly, and I was very, very curious about how they actually got up into the air. So I decided to see which wing shape will provide the most lift. So this is a blower, this is the wind tunnel, and this is the wing apparatus to keep the wing steady. And we used glue, screws, and wood for the base, and this is an anemometer to judge the, the miles per hour of wind. This supports Bernoulli's principle. The principle could be further explored by doing different wing shapes, different wing angles, and different wind speeds. So my design is a robot arm. The robot arm has uh, quite a few benefits. It doesn't have a bulky frame, uh, which avoids a lot of the momentum and resonances that come from trying to build a cheap frame that is very large. My goal is to be uh, the, an entrepreneur in uh, the technical field. I want to build awesome robots, uh, you know, drones. I think that would be really awesome. The practical applications of actually doing science at a young age is a game changer for most kids. Today I'm out here helping uh, judge the science fair, which I think is very important to help these kids learn what they need to do to become uh, better educated in science and to become better scientists for the future. I am one of the judges. I'm judging the junior section of the science fair. There's a, a lot of students here and a lot of kids that are having a lot of fun uh, telling us about their projects. My name is Trevor and my project is snow speed. Okay, so we have three different sleds, our tube, metal sled, and our plastic sled. We timed how long it took us to go 200 feet. Then we saw how fast we went and how far we went after that. And so our conclusion was we proved less friction and more weight will make a sled go faster. The judging process for the STEM fair involves a variety of judges, a number of judges judging each project three times. And the students have the opportunity to explain their project, talk about their process and the conclusions and going through this process, I think, has helped them to learn more about what data collection looks like and what that investigative process looks like. I am judging the zoology part, and there are some very interesting projects over there. One about um, geckos, and do they use the same kind of brain judgment that we do in using the right or left? This young man did a great project on testing his gecko in the feeding habits. These kids know their stuff. They've worked really hard on their projects and it's very impressive. We love coming out to these and seeing what our students in Utah are working on, what their interests are regarding science and engineering, and also getting an idea of how their interests are going to support us as a state in the future. The STEM Fair is all about the focus on the practice and skills of being a person who's able to make sense of the world. So using science to investigate the world and use the process to be able to figure out the way things work, but then also being able to have the critical thinking skills, research skills, and uh, problem solving skills to be able to apply that knowledge and that information to really any problem that would be presented to those students. And so it's really not about the project, it's about the process that a student goes through in order to make sense of the world and solve problems around them. 